What's up guys? Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to go over some tips and tricks that we've discovered along our journey using the Duna car seat stroller. Tip number one, I'm going to show you just the basics of how to put this, the car seat stroller down. So it does go down quickly, so I'll show you real quick. Goes down quickly, so the way that we have discovered our tip on how to deal with it is when you take the baby out, set the, the car seat on the ground and gently go up from there. The option number two is with one knee, put it forward release it and then let it gently go down off of your leg like so. Tip number two, every now and then when we try to collapse the stroller, the back wheels are not in the right position and it doesn't actually go down. It happens every now and then, I'm not sure why, um, but it's mostly if you have it going backwards and you put it down kind of quickly, it doesn't latch in. So the best remedy that we have discovered for that is to actually push the Duna forward and then collapse the wheels. Tip number three is to take advantage of the maneuverability of the, of the handle. If you place it in the upright position here, it is convenient to go into compact spaces and keep the baby right next to you. So that's a feature that is good to take advantage of. Tip number four. So. If you are looking to get this as a hand-me-down or you're gonna hand it down to somebody else, or if you have a boy and then you save it and you're gonna have a girl, there's actually an awesome thing on their website. Uh, if you look under spare parts, you can get a replacement canopy and the shoulder pad inserts for as cheap as $30 and replace the color there. So that's a nice way to change things up Plus, if you ever need to get any parts, most things are available. Replacement handles, wheels, and things like that. Tip number five. So if you're into going on walks in the evening, I would recommend walking with a little light. We didn't purchase this online, but I will leave a link in the description for something similar. It has two settings, a solid one and a flashing one. And it just has a little clip here. So clip it anywhere on the visor and safety at its finest. Tip number six. So as with any car seat, everybody that has kids knows the inconvenience of you put these straps to the side, you put your baby in and inevitably it goes down and you're like fishing it out from under them and they're like, they're like so irritated by it. So we discovered you can order these little magnets and they actually are adhesive. You peel off the back, stick it on here. It's a nice strong magnet and you can literally just take these pieces here and stick them to the side so when you put them in, it helps keep the straps where they should be to help buckle them. Hey guys, it's raining outside, but we are excited to show you some of these awesome tips, so come check it out. Tip number seven, we actually would recommend putting a blanket down in your vehicle just to protect your seats in general. Also, this little seat cover comes with the Duna stroller and there's a piece here that you're gonna tuck into your seat and let it hang over the edge like so, and that will help collect any potential drips or mud or anything like that. Depending on the size of your vehicle, the wheels may potentially come in contact with the back of your seat. One way to remedy that is we ordered these little, um, Seat covers, it was literally like $3.99 on Amazon. It's very simple to use. All you're gonna do is there's an elastic piece here. You can leave it together or undo it if you want. And I'm just gonna hook it over my seat and slide it down. And then you'll take the top here and it's gonna go around the headrest and you're just gonna snap it in place. So literally in less than a minute, you have a beautiful protector for your seat here. Tip number eight. So hey guys, always make sure that you check with your state and 
uh, manual, the user manual regulations, make sure you have everything right. This is just how we install ours and how it has worked well for us. So tip number eight here, you see this little indicator here and it's kind of in the red. You want it to be totally in the green. So what I'm gonna do is twist this little, whatever it is, <laughs> until I get that lined up in the green where I want it to be. Now that we've got this in the level position, I'm gonna take this latch here. In most modern vehicles, they have a little um, metal bar that this will latch to. So first, I'm gonna kinda loosen one side so that I have a little bit of give. I'll find the bar here, and I'm just gonna take it and push it into it. You hear that click, it's nice and secure. Now I'm gonna go across to the other side here and snap that side in. Make sure the seat belt isn't twisted. And then from there, I'm gonna tighten this so that it's nice and snug. It's not gonna go anywhere. As we showed you in the video, make sure that you go forward first. Go ahead and collapse the stroller. Pick it up from here in the back. Get a nice hold on your baby here. And we usually put the front part in first and then the back comes down and it'll lock into place. If this is green, it means it's locked securely. So you're gonna wanna push this in, push this forward, and that releases the, the car seat. I'll take it and lift it up, and then with my other arm, get the front of the stroller and take the baby out. Tip number nine. So what if I don't have a base or I'm in a situation where I'm not gonna be using a base such as taking an Uber or grandma comes to pick up baby and you don't wanna take your base out of your vehicle and install it. So I'm gonna show you how to buckle the car seat without a base. All right, so I am gonna lift the baby in to the seat. You're gonna see a line here, a red line. You wanna make sure that that is in a, a level position. Next, I'm gonna take the shoulder strap here. There are two areas on the handlebar here that the lap belt is gonna go into. So place the lap belt in just like so. Then you're gonna wanna loosen this all the way and just be careful because if it locks, then you have to start over again. You're gonna go behind the Duna and there is a blue little spot here that you're gonna put the seat belt in. Now don't let go of this yet. <laughs> you're gonna take the buckle, put it into the seat belt buckle there, and then now make sure there's no um, twists in it and go ahead and since it's in the locked position, let it tighten firmly all the way. So it's nice and locked in, baby's not going anywhere. This is a very secure method of using the lap belt without a base. I think we're done with the filming out here in the rain. Let's go back inside and I'm gonna show you the final tip, which is how to clean the cover. So last but not least, let's clean this baby up, especially since we were out in the rain. So we just take a damp cloth and it really cleans nicely. You just take it and give it a nice wipe down where it's needed. Um, we even use this on the material on the inside because um, you know it can get little lint and different things build up in there. So that's what we have done. I guess if you want to go for a more extensive clean, um, you can take off this entire cover and wash it. We've never actually done that before, but let's try it. Duna has a nice little instructional video on how to do this, so let's, let's take a whirl at it. So I'm gonna put this all the way back and go ahead and remove these little covers here. They just snap off like so. Next, we're gonna loosen the straps, pull them all the way forward. Go ahead and unbuckle it. Now we're gonna flip her around to the back here and take these out of the metal part here on both sides. This is like any standard car seat. 
Now let's go back towards the front. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it forward here and just set this to the side. Now we're gonna take off this piece here. You'll start in the back. So here on the back side, you can see there's four little latches. You're just gonna pinch it, pull it down and release. Pull it down and release. Pull it down and release and the last one here. Next, let's go to the front again. So in the Duna video, it doesn't show how to undo the visor. So it actually just has little snaps here. You're just gonna pop it off, one, two, three, and then just move it up out of the way here. If you're gonna take off the visor, there's little screws here that you can do. I'm not gonna do that now, but that's how you take that part off. Next, we're gonna fold this forward here. Let me move this handle forward. Continue to take it out of the sides here. You're gonna go down. On this part here, you're gonna pull down because there is gonna be a little clip. So this is actually pretty difficult. Okay, there we go. So make sure you get a good grip on the material and pull it out. Let's do this other side here. Good grip on the material, pull it up. There we go. That actually takes a, a bit of strength to get that out. And the last piece that's holding it in is on the bottom here. There's this little clip here. And it is actually kind of difficult. You feel like you're gonna break it, but just get your finger up under there and, and pop it up. Next, we're gonna pull it off of here. And guys, this is honestly a challenge. You've really gotta pull it towards you and around that. Next, we're gonna take the seat belt through. Oh, look at that. Get a good shot of that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take these little straps out. Don't do this unless you have to. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay guys, so I've got this out and, and it says here, da, 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 machine wash cold, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, hang dry. Do not wring, do not iron, do not dry clean. So we're gonna put this in the wash with just a little bit of soap. So guys, this is not a tip, it's just um, something to encourage you when you're thinking about the cost of the Duna. We use our Duna like every single day and you get at least about a year's worth out of it. So I'm gonna do a simple calculation with you here and I'm gonna say $500 divided by 365. So $1.36 a day is what you would be spending. And I would have to say it is well worth $1.36 a day. And that is way cheaper than getting something small at Starbucks. So just a little perspective there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, that you learned something from our tips and tricks and that you can use it to your benefit. We appreciate every single subscriber. Please, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe, like this video, drop us comments. We really enjoy the feedback and responding to your comments. So thank you for watching and as always, have a blessed day. Okay, tip number two. <laughs> to take advantage of the maneuverability yeah, that, that. <laughs> or just walking around in um, on the street or in public areas. Okay. Tip number five. <laughs> no.